Hello and welcome back to Cracking the Cryptic. Now today I'm going to have a look at a puzzle type um, that I've never seen before. I'm planning to have a go at the Sudoku Grand Prix round this week set by India. And I think India especially have a reputation for introducing new puzzle types. It may be that somebody else has seen this one before. It looks a fairly um, sensible variation. Um, but I've never seen it. There is actually another puzzle type in this set which I've never seen before and that looks something I maybe wouldn't describe as sensible. That's called disguised palindromes where a certain number of lines in the grid are palindromes if you take one number out. That's quite a strange variant. I don't know why you'd come up with that but maybe I'll try that at some other point for a video but uh, that's certainly one I know I've never seen before. This one I just feel I've never seen before. But I'm going to have a go at it now and see how we get along and um, enjoy it with me. So the rules here in equal sum Sudoku are that every line in the grid has the same sum total. So... These three cells must add up to the same as these four cells, which are the same as these five cells, the same as these seven, same as these three, the same as these four, same as these five. So quite a lot of the same sums. And if we can find out what that sum is, we'll be well away. But I suspect we won't get there for a long time. Now, there's quite a lot of givens in the grid. And given the constraint, I would suspect that the best way to go about this is to do a bit of completely normal Sudoku solving um, as if it wasn't, as if there weren't lines in the grid, just to get started. So looking up here at this fairly clustered box, um, we need to enter five, six and eight. This cell can only be the five. We've got eight and six below it. Um, twos, we've got a two in column nine and eight. So the two down here is in column seven. Um, that gives us a three in one of these two places. Not surprisingly, some low numbers on one of the longer lines. Um, so these two up here are six and eight in some order. Three, five, two, seven, one. one of these is a two. It's quite likely it's going to be on the line because the really long line there is going to need some short um, some small numbers to bring it down to a level that it could equal a line of three cells. So here I'm just entering um, possibilities for the cell, or sort of possibilities within the box for where the number can go. Um, hmm, running out of useful things I can see straight away. Ah, oh, one. One in this box is ruled out of those three cells by the one in the same row. And the one above makes it clear where the one goes. Um, interesting that there's a possibility of a one in the three-digit version. That just seems a bit unlikely, but we certainly haven't ruled it out logically. Now, nine must be in one of the row five cells there. Six. Now, you may be seeing a better way to attack this sort of puzzle. I mean, as I say, I've never tried this kind of constraint before, so it'll be interesting. Now, interestingly, this, li this line here, which has five cells, must contain seven, six, and three. That's quite interesting. That means that the total of the sum has to be... 13, 16, at least 19. If, if it was, if it was even 20, then this group of cells occupied by these three lines would have to add to 60, 74. It is possible. So it's, 19 or 20, I think if we got up to 21, there'd just be no way of making the numbers work. Um, 63, 73, 77, these would be 13. 
Well, maybe, but I, I mean, we're, we're certainly narrowing it down. It's either 19, 20 or 20. Oh, no, it couldn't have a two in it because there's a two in the column already. So seven, three, six must be in it. And four, one, that's the absolute minimum. What would that add up to? 10, 21. So um, 45 from 63. These three cells would have to add to 18. Yeah, I think this must be it. Um, they could be 8, 7, and 3. And I think they would have to be. Eight, they'd have to have the eight, and another ten, and that can't be nine, one, eight, two, or they'd have to be seven and three. I'm pretty sure. Okay, so the, just to run through that again, because you know I may be kind of wittering there; it may not be clear what I'm saying. But this line here has five digits on. Those digits have to include 7, 3, and 6, because in column 1, those digits can't appear here and here. It must include 7, 3, and 6. It can't include 2. So 7, 3, and 6, they're already adding up to 16. Now, the minimum extra digits that you can have after that are 1 and 4 in this column. Why, why not 2? Because it appears in the column already. Why not 3? Because that's one of the three digits we've already mentioned. So if you have 7, 3, 6, 1, and 4, then you get to 21. So if the sum of all the lines is 21, then this box must add up to 45, but the totals of the numbers on the lines that are in it must add up to 63. Um, 63 minus 45 is 18. So these three cells would have to add up to 18. That's the minimum. Now, the only way that they could do that would be with an 8, um, and then you'd need 10 more. The 8 would have to be here because of this placed 8. You'd need 10 more, and 6 and 4 is not possible. Um, now, the only way it could be more than those adding up to 18 is if they added up to 3 more, because we'd be adding 1 to every line. And then they'd add up to 21, that would require them to be 8, 7, 6. I just don't think 21 is possible, though. Might be wrong. Maybe we haven't ruled out 21 entirely. So let's maybe go back and say that that could be 3 or 6. No, it couldn't. If that was a 6, we couldn't fit two numbers in down here because we've got... I know it's seven, six, one, four, three, two, and five to put in the box, and we've got a two and five in that row. So twenty-one is it? Twenty-one? Yes, twenty-one is the number. And we worked out that in this column we've got I know it's seven, two, three, six, and one to go. Oh no, hang on, eight's not possible. No, that hasn't worked at all. Oh dear. So let's go back and rethink about this from scratch. Now, 736, they must be on this line. So that is 16. The minimum extra is 1 and 4. So this could be 736, 1 and 4. If that's the case, the sum of the lines is 21. Yeah. Three lots of that is 63. Take away the 45 in the top box. We've got 18 to fill in here. Now that could, okay, we have to use two out of seven, six, three, one, four to do that. So if we use seven and six, yes, then we get a five as the other number. So I don't know why I didn't see that as a possibility, but that is possible. Now, these are 3, 1, 4, 5 and 8, 
go down here. 21 is the number. Um, 1, 4, 3. So that could be, it can't be 8, 7, 6. We've got a 6 in the column. So 9 must be involved along with another 12, which can't be 4, 8 or 3, 9. So it's 9, 5, 7 down here. So this is now reasonably straightforward. And the fact that these numbers make 21 has got to be very helpful everywhere. 2, 5, 8, 7, 3, 6, 4, 1, 9. 1 there. 4, 9. 3, 2, 8. And I mean, things are just filling in off their own bat virtually. Now, it's very likely that on this diagonal, to keep that down to 21, I'm sure this won't be an 8, for instance. 8, 12, 13, 18, they'd all have to be 1, so it's not. So 5, 9, 10, 15, we need 1, 2, 3 on the diagonal in the central. That's the only way we can keep the number down. And I mean, now we're really getting everything done, I think. How about these ones? One, two, three, eight, seven. Um, that feels like it's the right number. Yeah. Do we know exactly which way? Yeah, these must be one and eight because two, three, and seven are in both their columns. Two, these must be three and seven. 21 up here without a seven in it. So it could be nine, eight, four. Are there any other combinations? I doubt it. So I think that's 984 and then 165 in here. Yeah, that, that feels like it must be right. So we've got an 8 there, 7 and 9 to go in here. And I mean, we've filled in all the lines now effectively with some doubts about which way round certain numbers go. So we've done all of the constraint work and now we're just really completing the classic Sudoku. So this is a variant that clearly took a bit of thinking at the beginning to work out the number. Um, and I nearly made a mistake doing that. So, you know, it's easy to go wrong. You need to check your logic some of the time. But once that was resolved, I think it all became a lot more straightforward, thank God. And uh, the rest of it is just completing it off. Now... That's 8 and 6. That must be 8, which resolves the pair at the bottom. 1 and 8 there. And 6. Now, I suspect that the puzzle we get in the actual um, competition won't be... won't either have so many givens or it won't have so many lines or such long ones. Um, but it'll be an interesting test for sure, and we'll see how that goes. Um, thank you very much for watching. Hope you enjoyed that. Um, you know, if the puzzle's really good, maybe we'll come back and show that one, or maybe I'll have a look at the disjointed palindromes puzzle or whatever it was called. Um, always interesting to see new variants on Sudoku. Um, I think this one is, is a good variant. It's quite interesting. Certainly when there's that many lines of such different lengths, that really makes it an entertaining solve. Do follow us on Cracking the Cryptic um, and do watch our other videos. Subscribe to us on Patreon if you can. That's always very welcome. Um, and thank you very much for watching. Hope to see you again soon on Cracking the Cryptic and bye for now.